obstacles right i mean there's a lot of competition out there you don't know where to sell your stuff or you don't know how to reach that specific niche or you have this famous art block or you don't even have your art ready to be sold out there all of this can be really overwhelming for us artists that want to start a business so why don't we talk about obstacles today and let's figure it out hi my name is Jose gonzalez and in this channel i want to put every idea that comes to my head into my my own art business so that if you're also doing the same thing you can have all of these to serve as a guide for you so if you're interested well hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you in other videos as well right so even though I am starting my own art project here I believe I have enough experience to tell you that it doesn't matter how big or small you are in the art industry there are always going to be obstacles like maybe for us starting artists an obstacle could look like how do you create an Etsy shop like me I don't know how to do that or if you have a little bit more experience probably your obstacle could be like wanting to launch a different product that has to do with what made you successful and you don't want to lose viewers or, or customers and if you are a giant maybe your obstacle could be like is it worth investing the 10 million dollars that you made on your last NFT to buy like all the iPads that you can so that you can make like the largest giveaway for all of your subscribers that would actually be really cool. Anyway, today let's start small and I'm gonna present you the obstacles that I found right now and let's try to figure them out together. Okay, so last week's assignments from the book were about like getting a way for you to get paid easily, to not make it complicated for your customers. Also, they tell you to write your own story so that people kind of know that you are like a real person and not a big corporation trying to get more powerful or something. But all of these, I, I believe, believe that were tasks for people that already have like a product and I don't even have a name or anything so I, I felt like I had to do that so before I got further I decided to actually tackle through my first obstacle which is have a name and for that uh, I created just this doc that I'm going to fill with you right now I'm going to write words that have to do with my business of course masks would be one quests maybe something like animals I don't know maybe including one of the the main characters that I have right now which is Nam maybe something that has to do with magic also with a stone because uh, in my story I want this guy to to create masks using like a tablet made of stone that could be like good words for starters and then why don't we go and search for synonyms for those words mask synonyms veil wizard animal synonym beast creature I like then magic synonyms charm i think hex what is hex a magic spell yeah i like hex yeah i think that i can come up with good combinations with these words so now let's jump to google domains where's the place that i found to be really easy for you to search for domains and then acquire one of them and make a quick website from them so let's go stone masks probably not nam quest magic veil Ah, so that's a no-no. I don't know if including the name masks could be more like a shop rather than a story, which is not necessarily bad, but I'm not a huge fan. So another word for mask, it could be like shell, something that covers something. Another one could be hex veil, wizard hex stone shell. Okay, so that is a little bit more expensive. So no beast shells. Actually, I, I do like that one because I work for a couple of movies, Fantastic Beasts, and then I also work on Ghost in the Shell. This could be like an Easter egg or something, so that's going for the poll for sure. Maybe something has to do with the character Nam. Maybe he keeps the mask somewhere, like Nam's Bolt. I don't want to include all those kind of symbols in the name because it start to be confusing. So Vault of Nam. Okay, I like that one. Shelf of Nam. That sounds more like a furniture stars. Maybe Wall of Nam. Maybe he can have like a huge wall behind him in his house that is filled with mass. I actually like how this looks. Like it has a like, nice balance. I can already kind of see like a logo from that. Creatures Veil. X masks. 
So I have all of these names now. I want something that basically has a good rhythm to it that is not very difficult for you to pronounce. And I want something that is rememberable somehow, like you hear it and has like this some sort of like magic to it. So stone masks, I'm not a huge fan because you believe that there will be masks made of stone, which is not necessarily what I'm gonna do. Nam quest, maybe that could be one. Creature's shell. Now that I read it, I actually get confused because it could be like creature's hell. Now hex veil, That's, that sounds more like spooky. Now wizard hex, it sounds like, like bizarre. Beast shells, the same thing happens here. Like you could think like it's beasts. Hells. I'm gonna leave it for now. I like more how the wall of Nam looks than the vault of Nam. Creature's veil, same thing. The veil thing, I don't, I'm not a huge fan. I really like how hex masks look, but I think it's a little bit hard to pronounce. Hex masks. People is gonna have a hard time pronouncing that. So Nam quests, beast shells, and wall of Nam. I think between these three, the ones that I like more are those two last ones. <sighs> so I'm gonna have those two. That's a hard decision, so I'm gonna give it some thought. <sighs> Beast Shelf, Wall of Nam. Wall of Nam. I kinda like Beast Shelf because you probably know what it has to do with. And Wall of Nam, somebody who just arrives and see that name, they will probably not know what anything is about. But I really like how it sounds. Wall of Nam, Beast Shelf. Wall of Nam. I think that the point of today is to actually solve some of these obstacles. So I, I am going to make a decision. And for now, I think it's gonna be Wall of Nam. Yeah, Wall of Nam. Do you do you see it too? Wall of Nam. It has a nice ring to it, right? The more I say it, it's like a catchy name. It has like some magic to it, like I want it. Ah, uh, let's do it for a year. Privacy, outro renew is on. I don't know if for your country, this is the same thing, but for mine, I cannot buy a name from Google if I don't do this Google Workspace thing. Probably not gonna use that much, but I'm gonna have to buy it anyway. So business starter, so it's the cheapest one. So my name, that's right, my name is actually Jose Gonzalez. I've been fooling you for the past three videos. And now this is probably gonna be contact at wallofnam.com. So check out, uh, come on. Jose Gonzalez. I'm from Mexico. Uh, you're gonna know where I live. Actually, I think that I'm gonna be blurring this out later, if not skipping it. If not, then please don't send me any creepy stuff. Mexico State, phone, save and continue. Review purchase, oh my God. For that, I wanted to show you in dollars so it was like more clear for you, but uh, this is basically the same, but in Mexican pesos. So I already put like my card and I'm gonna hit buy and what? <laughs> what? Okay, speaking about obstacles, like probably this would be something that I would be like, okay, I'm gonna do it later. But today is not that day. I am going to hit the learn more button. If you have already completed this form and are waiting on a response, not complete this form. So, government initiative ID. Oh my God, this is so. Google Pay, I guess. Okay, payment settings. So they want this number, right? Remember what I told you about that it was super easy about like buying stuff from Google? I think it's probably not the case for me today. Let's do what they ask. Choose files. Let's go to that JPEG. Yes, submit. Okay, so let's hope for the best and see if like everything is good. Hopefully I will have my domain by the time they decide to look at this. So you could say that we did all that we could for our first obstacle. Now let's go for the next one. Okay, so my second obstacle here would be
Hey guys, me from the present, now in edit mode. I'm truly sorry, I'm gonna have to split this video into several parts and this is probably gonna be the best for both you and me because that way you can tackle through a specific obstacle without searching through it in one single video maybe. Anyway, I hope that I see you on the next parts of these obstacles. I think that the footage is really interesting. There are some really cool things that are going to be solved. So yeah, I hope to see you on those ones and I will leave you as usual with more booba in three, two, one.